Good afternoon everyone, my name is James Bold with First Coast Weather and News. The following 12 hours is going to be either a very exciting, or a very scary time for many Americans. For those of you who are somehow unaware, the year will be rolling over to 2000 in the next 12 hours. While the new year is usually a time for reflection, making plans for the future, and new beginnings for many, this year is a bit different. Many people are worried about the possibility of a mass computer failure event. This is due to something known as the Y2K bug. Basically, it is believed that computers were not programmed to be able to correctly interpret a new millennium. So far, computers have only really had to change the last three digits of a given year, but never the first one. It is believed that the year rolling over to a new millennium could cause widespread glitches and system failures to many computer chip-based devices. Many people have already been making preparations for a worst-case scenario, whatever that would involve. Currently, the government does expect some minor issues, but nothing catastrophic. So is this all just mass hysteria, or is this the next doomsday event? Well, I can't say for sure. I guess we'll just have to wait and see until after midnight. Personally, I plan on spending it at home with my family, watching the fireworks and the New Year's ball drop on TV. If you don't hear back from me tomorrow, I guess you know the answer to the question I posed a moment ago. Until then, I wish everyone a safe, happy, and healthy New Year, and we will see what the year 2000 will bring to us shortly. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming for an emergency message. This is a national emergency. Please listen carefully, as the following alert will contain life-saving information. Please stand by for a message from the President. My fellow Americans, what we feared all along has come to pass. What is currently occurring is the worst-case scenario. For those of you who were unaware, this message is related to the Y2K bug, also known as the Millennium Bug. Explaining it as quickly as possible, this was an expected issue that would occur as the year rolled over to 2000, due to many computers not being programmed properly for the arrival of a new millennium. It was expected that there would be some issues, but to what extent is currently unknown. Many systems that use integrated computer chips may have minor glitches, or complete system failures. It is not known what the effects of this event will be, but it is advised that every resident in the country remain wary of any objects or vehicles that use computer chip-based systems. This can include, but is not limited to, computers, airplanes, temperature control systems, certain medical equipment, and generally any object that is known to contain computer chips. There have already been numerous reports of electronics with these chips in them going awry, and things are expected to go downhill very soon. Radio and television communication may be interrupted, but where possible, remain connected to your local stations for more information and future updates on this event. This message is being broadcast at the request of the Federal Aviation Administration, in conjunction with state authorities. A civil danger warning has been issued for the state of Virginia until further notice. Over the past 15 minutes, there have been dozens of reports of airplanes stalling mid-flight and crashing to the ground. This is believed to be due to computer failures within airplanes, which is likely related to the Y2K bug. 
Current fatalities are not known, but it is likely in the thousands at this time. The Federal Aviation Administration is currently working to get estimated impact site locations for crashed airplanes and locations for ones that are still in the air. All airplanes that are still functional are being told to land immediately at this time. All air travel will be suspended until this situation is under control. At this time, there is an estimated 10 flights flying over the state of Virginia. There has been report of an airplane crash in the state, near the town of Delville, just outside of Roanoke, Virginia. If you hear the roaring of an airplane, take cover immediately. Do not assume that any plane is flying properly at this time. If you believe a plane may crash in your area, get to the lowest floor of your building as possible, and cover your head. Where possible, get under a large piece of furniture to increase your likelihood of survival. As of midnight, there were an estimated 350 flights in the air across the country. The death toll of this event will likely be in the thousands. Please remain indoors at this time, and stay indoors until an all-clear message is given. Stay tuned to local news media for more information and future updates on this event. This message is being broadcast at the request of civil authorities, in conjunction with local medical facilities in the area. A local area emergency has been issued for the county of Roanoke, in Virginia, until further notice. At around 12.10 a.m., there was a reported plane crash just outside the city of Roanoke, in the town of Delville. Current counts on survivors and fatalities are unknown, though there appear to be at least 25 survivors in the crash at least, but those numbers are not final. Due to this crash, and an ongoing fire from the demolished plane, many people are coming into local medical facilities for a variety of treatments. Due to the high volume of patients, along with the ongoing Y2K situation, many of these facilities can only treat a limited amount of people. A majority of medical equipment has been having technical issues, or is not working at all due to the computer chip failures that the Y2K bug has caused. It is being asked that you only come into local hospitals and clinics if you have a life-threatening injury. If you have a minor or moderate injury, you are asked to try and handle it on your own to the best of your ability. People with critical injuries will be treated first at local facilities, and then people with minor injuries will be taken care of once the situation is resolved. Repeating, please only come to local health care facilities if you have a critical or life-threatening injury. Due to the Y2K bug, Many facilities have severely limited capacities. Stay tuned to local news media for more information and future updates on this event. The current time is 12.15 p.m. Central Standard Time on January 1, 2000. Here is your New Year's Day forecast. Today, it will be snowy and cold with a high of 19 degrees, and a low of negative 5 degrees. The forecast for January 2nd is This message is being broadcast at the request of the National Weather Service Office in Duluth, Minnesota, in conjunction with state authorities. A special weather statement has been issued for the state of Minnesota, until further notice. This message is being issued due to the ongoing Y2K bug event that has been occurring around the country over the past hour. There have been many reports that homes around the state of Minnesota have lost control of their heating and cooling systems in their houses. This is a major issue, due to temperatures that are expected to dip well into the negatives across the state tonight. It is suggested that you get prepared for this event now, if you have not lost heating yet. It is advised that you close all exits to the outside world, and place blankets or other cloth items on door frames and windows. This is in order to prevent cold air from getting into your house. Make sure all pets you own are indoors, and in as warm of an environment as possible. When going to sleep tonight, it is advised you wear multiple layers of clothes and use multiple layers of sheets and blankets. 
This is to try and help prevent frostbite and hypothermia. An estimated repair time on these heating devices is not available at this time. This may last a few days or upwards of a few weeks. Stay tuned to local news media for more information and future updates on this event along with the National Weather Service for up-to-date forecasts on weather conditions and temperatures in the area. This message is being broadcast at the request of civil authorities and local water treatment plants in and around the city of Columbia, Missouri. A boil water advisory has been issued for the Columbia metropolitan area until further notice. Due to ongoing complications with the Y2K bug, many water treatment plants around the city have encountered major issues or complete system failure. An estimated repair time is currently unknown. At this time, it is advised that you only drink water that has already been bottled, or only drink from approved ground wells. If you must use water from a faucet in your home, make sure to boil the water thoroughly before drinking it. This should ensure that any harmful bacteria in the water is killed off. Consuming contaminated water could lead to certain illnesses, particularly in the digestive tract. It is currently advised that you do not shower, as it is possible that contaminated water could accidentally get into your eyes, nose, or mouth, which could make you sick. Stay tuned to local news media for more information and future updates on this event. This message is being broadcast at the request of the Santa Fe Police Department. A 9-1-1 telephone outage emergency has been issued for Santa Fe County in New Mexico until further notice. Due to complications involving the ongoing Y2K bug situation, along with high caller volume, emergency phone lines are being severely strained or are down altogether. Please only use 9-1-1. One in the case of a serious or life-threatening emergency. Due to the ongoing Y2K bug, it is unknown when the county police department's phone lines and computer systems will be back up. Due to other services being down due to this event, it is advised that you do not go outside at this time. The best course of action at this time is to remain indoors and to keep yourself safe. Stay tuned to local news media for more information and future updates on this event. This message is being broadcast at the request of civil authorities within the Las Vegas metropolitan area. A power outage emergency is currently underway in and around the city of Las Vegas, Nevada. Due to complications relating to the ongoing Y2K bug, many electrical systems around the country have failed. Unfortunately, that also includes many systems around the city of Las Vegas. Many street lights have been completely knocked out, along with many of the traffic lights on major roads. This has led to extremely dangerous driving conditions in the area, especially after New Year's Eve celebrations it is currently advised that you remain where you are, and wait until the morning to drive. While there is no immediate threat to your life, it is best to stay put and wait until more information is known. An estimated repair time for these electrical issues is currently not available. Along with that, there have been dozens of reports of car accidents on major roads and highways, but the current amount is also unknown. Stay tuned to local news media for more information and future updates on this event. This message is being broadcast at the request of the state government of California. A nuclear power plant warning has been issued for the counties of 
San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara, Monterrey, Kings, Kern, and Ventura. At around 6.40 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, a catastrophic failure was reported at the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant. While the exact extent of the damage this may cause is unknown, it will likely be widespread. This will particularly affect San Luis Obispo County, but every other county listed should remain on high alert. An explosion is still very likely at this time, and could potentially impact anyone within a three-mile radius of the plant. If you are within three miles of the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant, it is advised you shelter in place until an all-clear is given. The bigger overall danger is from radioactive fallout. Fallout is a byproduct of nuclear explosions that poses a major threat to your health. Exposure to nuclear fallout can lead to acute radiation poisoning, other related illnesses, and death. In the event of an explosion, do not look directly at the blast. Remain in your shelters until more information is given, or until an all-clear message is issued. Stay tuned to local news media for more information and future updates on this event. This message is being broadcast at the request of the state government of California. An immediate evacuation order has been issued for the counties of San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara, Monterey, Kings, Kern, and Ventura until further notice. At 7.11 a.m., the Diablo Canyon nuclear plant had a total meltdown. There was a large explosion, one that leveled everything in a one-mile radius. Effects of the explosion are estimated to reach out for at least 15 miles. Due to high offshore winds, fallout is expected to spread inland from west to east. If you can, you need to evacuate the area immediately. If you are within 15 miles of the plant, it is likely too late. Your best chance of survival would be to remain in your shelters for at least 14 days and block off all entrances to the outside world. If you are outside of the 15-mile radius of the plant, evacuating is strongly encouraged. When going outside, wear a face mask or some sort of facial covering. This is in order to prevent you from inhaling radioactive particles in the air. Do keep in mind that many street lights and traffic lights are currently broken due to the ongoing Y2K bug situation. This may make travel dangerous, but the government is strongly urging people that can leave to get out as soon as possible. Stay tuned to local news media for more information and future updates on this event.